Coming up, we'll tell you who won a months long Chase the Ace game in Falkton. Plus, we take a look at a new building project that'll allow Monument Health to help more cancer patients get treatment. Good morning, this is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. This coming Monday, Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken will give his State of the City address. The address will be given at 1 p.m. at the State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls. Seating for the event is on a first-come, first-served basis. If you can't go in person, the address will be live-streamed on the city's Facebook page. It looks like Mayor Tenhaken is running for re-election. He filed paperwork with the city this week. So far, the only other candidate who has filed documents to run in 2022 is David Zakaitis, who was also on the 2018 ballot. More than 100 bridges are in need of work across South Dakota. The State Department of Transportation received 107 applications for bridges that need replacement. But because of the cost and funding available, the State Transportation Commission only chose 46 projects. Kelloland's Bob Mercer takes a closer look at the projects and how federal funding is helping. In two years, Rapid City will have an expanded Cancer Care Institute. Monument Health broke ground on the project Thursday. The Cancer Care Institute currently serves around 40,000 patients a year from all over the Midwest. This expansion will offer more space for patients and staff. The expansion will be roughly 70,000 square feet and cost an estimated $36 million. Construction is scheduled to be wrapped up in the summer of 2023. Turning to weather now, we're heading into a warm weekend here in Kettleland. Let's find out how warm it could get with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. Well, good morning, you too. Good morning, everybody. Uh, downright warm or hot for some of us. Temperatures may hit the 90s uh, tomorrow in southeastern South Dakota. Let's go and show you what's going on in our outline. As we do go through this weekend, uh, look for warm and dry conditions both today and tomorrow. We'll cool on Sunday, and that may bring in a shower chance. And then as we go through next week, it will be much cooler. Temperatures do fall to the 50s and 60s for highs as we continue to watch for scattered showers. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. This morning, the Chase the Ace game in Falkton has a winner. The game had been going on for months and reached a jackpot over $1.8 million. There were 13 cards left in the game, and the first name organizers drew picked the correct card. Lonnie Schlotty, who lives in the Watertown area, was the winner and will now split the money with the Falkton Area Foundation. Our community foundation gets half of that $1.87 million, and um, pretty cool that, uh, you know, we'll get to invest that money now and that will go to work for us and then we'll use those earnings that come off of that every year to give away grants in our area for local nonprofit uh, charitable type purposes. He also credits the work of all the volunteers who help make the fundraiser happen. Students at Dakota State University are tapping into their inner artist. Alex Neal and her class are presenting a style called shadow casting. Over the last few months, they created wire sculptures in the shape of animals. But to see the final result, you need to cast a light on it in a dim room, creating a shadow. Casting the shadow, uh, you can change the angle of the light and make it appear way different than what someone else would see. So it's different for each person who casts the light. A reception for the Shadow Casting Gallery will be held tonight. It goes from 5 to 8 at the Washington Pavilion. If you'd like more information on the exhibit, we have a link for you under this story right here on Kelloland.com. There's another sign that summer is almost here. The Falls Park Farmer's Market opens tomorrow. You can check out the vendors from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Falls Park structure. The market will be open on Saturdays through October. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? Okay, weather it is. Well, let's look at tomorrow's weather forecast for Sioux Falls in the southeast because we are looking at hot conditions and we're not shying away from that word hot because look at this by noon already maybe you should cut the grass in the morning by the way it's already 85 in Beersford at 12 o'clock on Saturday and then look at the afternoon there uh, 92 maybe a, a 93 in Parker a 94 in Vermillion yeah drink a lot of water maybe think about summer mode for just a few hours this is not going to stick around, though. It's going to cool off Saturday night and then into Sunday. We'll drop things back in the 70s. A little better for this time of the year into early May. Let's look at future cast. Today is starting off dry and will stay dry, I think, as we get at least through this first part of the forecast. But then by the time we begin to cool down there Saturday night, that's when we see a chance 
of a few showers. I think future cast is probably plenty healthy with these uh, showers. Uh, may not be quite as filled in as this shows, but we think there'll be a few of them around. So if you do get a shower and a few hundredths of an inch of rain, that's probably a way I would view that, at least my perspective at this point in time. Otherwise, next week, cooling down, and we could eventually get some more showers with that cooler weather. 87 today, fill up 86 the high in Rapid City, 76 in Custer, seven day forecast. We'll start with tonight here. We're going to be down in the mid 50s in Sioux Falls. So obviously lending itself to a very warm day tomorrow. 88 degrees in Chamberlain and Mitchell in those 90s again near Yankton. There's that seven day 60s next week. Yep, and even a 37 on Tuesday morning. Not necessarily a hard freeze, but we do have to be mindful that we're still in early uh, May with these numbers cooling off. So uh, think about that, of course, with gardening ahead and those kind of things. You always got to be careful. Frost can still happen very easily, especially in Aberdeen with a low at 33 on Tuesday morning. And I think a few showers will dot the region by Wednesday of next week. That's our next system to watch. Pier also cools down 61 on Monday, 63 on Tuesday, and likewise Rapid City will get a few showers early next week and temperatures only 58 on Monday. Check out the details online at kettleland.com. Have yourself a great day.